Amani channel with videoshifts.com and I'm keeping it basic today. Um, so this is a webcam video using my iSight camera in iMovie. Really simple way to create videos. But what I really want to talk to you about is Android phones because you know a lot of folks have Android devices. This is the Samsung Mega which is a huge smartphone. Um, it's huge. So that's the the, and you know I do video, so I'm not going to talk about all the specs. But it does shoot 1080p. Um, the the pixels is great on the megapixels are great on it. And so a lot of people have been asking me, how do I capture good audio? What kind of microphone should I use with a Samsung phone? And so this is actually a really basic. Uh, microphone that I recommend. It's by Vericorder. It costs about 25 bucks. It's just called a mini microphone. And you can see here it just has the, uh, it's a four pin microphone that works with Android or iPhones. And I actually want to test it out because I wasn't confident 100% that this microphone worked with Samsung or with Android phones. All right, so I do have the camera already activated on the phone. I'm just going to plug it in. I'm going to do a little test record. So I'm gonna, we're going to go to black and then um, I'll show you this phone's video camera and I'll let you hear how it sounds without the microphone and then I'll plug the microphone in or maybe I'll do it with the microphone first so you can hear how good it sounds and then I'll take the microphone out. Alright, so let's do that now. Alright, so now we're recording with the Samsung Galaxy Mega using the Vericorder mini mic and a few things when you're recording. First of all, I'm using the Galaxy's rear facing camera so I can see myself as I'm talking so it's important to focus on the lens which is really small, but it's right there. So you want to look in that direction. You don't want to stare at yourself because if you end up looking at yourself, then you're not looking at the camera. So there's something to remember. So um, I'm holding my arms are probably about three feet extended. Of course, I'm shooting a selfie video. So if I wanted to be on the go, I could just, you know, go wherever I wanted to go with this and it would work well for capturing the sound. This microphone works probably within three to six feet of the subject. Um, any distance beyond that, it will probably have a minimal uh, diminishing returns of effectiveness. Um, but the microphone rotates, so it works well for that as well. So if you want to use the, uh, the front-facing camera, you can just swivel the mic around and use it that way. All right, so now that you heard how the mic sounds, let's go ahead and unplug it now. And this is how it sounds. So the audio is probably a little bit more hollow. Um, if there was ambient noise, like if the TV was on, if there was background chatter, that would definitely be a distraction possibly. So if you are recording with your smartphone or a camera that doesn't have an external mic, you just always want to be in control of the audio situation because you know these, these the microphone will work well at close range, but when you get the further away from the subject, the more hollow the sound is going to sound to your listeners. All right, so just a few things. Once again, this is the mini mic by Vericorder. You can find it at vericorder.com. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so what did you think? I think that the mini microphone is a great um, solution for simple recordings. It's an affordable solution if you just want to start recording with the microphone. And so you can, once again, find it in Vericord. I just said where you can find it. But if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask us a question at ask at webvideoshefs.com. Subscribe to this channel, but even better yet, go to our website at webvideoshefs.com because we have some great courses for you and some great other free information. You can subscribe to our e-newsletter and more. All right, Amani channel. We'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.